Hello friends, welcome back again. Thanks again for your support and valuable suggestions and feedbacks about my video contents. I could see some regular requests in the comments for more capital functions. I'm trying to go step by step with some short videos dedicated to each capital function. In that way, in this particular video, we will cover upon how to print a graphic window or trace in your test report, more importantly through capital programming. So before we get into the video, please do subscribe to my channel to get regular updates on my video contents. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, we'll see about how to do a graphic window capture in the test report. So through capital coding. Uh, so firstly, we will uh, have to open the Keno configuration. If you have already uh, installed the Keno, uh, go to the start menu and type Keno. And you will find the Keno application uh, displaying and just click on to it. Open the blank configuration and uh, create uh, your specific Keno configuration firstly. And once if you have created your configuration, go to the analysis tab and go to the measurement setup. And in the measurement setup, we need to create a graphic uh, window firstly. So right click and then insert a graphic window. And here uh, you can include the signals what you wanted to print it in your uh, uh, test report. So let me add some sample signals here. For example, vehicle speed and I'm adding vehicle speed clock and I'm adding vehicle speed CRC maybe and then I will add uh, cure lever yeah so here I have added uh, roughly around uh, four signals uh, which I wanted to um, print or capture in my test report so these are the signals which I wanted to print it in my test report now we have to go to the capital code so here Firstly, create the main test. So this is where we are going to call the uh, test case. Uh, let us let me create a test case name as sample test case. So this is my function call. And after once if the call is done, I will stop the measurement. Now we have to create a test case. Let me insert a test case. My test case name is sample underscore test case. Now here I need to uh, put the function. So let me put it as firstly, uh, we're not going to do any particular operation here. Uh, we just need to, uh, we're going to run the measurement and then we are going to print the or print or uh, capture the graphic uh, window into the test report so we are not going to perform any specific action but ideally in your case you have to uh, you can do all your test actions and wherever you feel like you need to take a capture you could call the function so let me first add a delay like test wait for timeout so for example i'm going to run the measurement for five seconds and then i'm going to add the test report add window capture so this is the function that which is specific for capturing the window so here what are we trying to capture is the graphic panel so we have created a graphic panel so the measurement you know the the name of the graphic panel itself is graphics so we have to give the name as an argument here first argument as graphics and then it should be mentioned in double quotes then comma and then what are all the signals that you wanted to monitor or print or capture in your test report so those signals is what uh, you could uh, type in here for example vehicle speed signal I wanted to capture if you wanted to capture multiple uh, signals then you have to type in more than uh, more than one signals here so here 
the next signal would be gear lever position and then okay lever position and then i want to print vehicle speed crc you see uh, soon when you type your uh, signal name uh, it is getting displayed so i can delete this part and then another signal is vehicle speed clock so it's already there So now after entering all your signals which you wanted to capture, close your double quotes and then in the comma you have to specify like screenshot and double quote and then comma and then here you could give the name of the file in which it has to be saved. So we will just put it as sample.jpg then close it so we are done with our coding now uh, what this particular function will do is uh, it will come to the main test and then it will run this uh, sample test case in the sample test case we have just um, added a time delay of 5 seconds so soon the measurement starts it will wait for 5 seconds and then it will capture the graphic window the name of the window is graphics and then what are all the signals that we wanted to capture we have already mentioned the around four signals and then it needs to be saved in this dot jpeg and at the same time it will also be printed in the test report i am saving the test module and uh, in the test more in the test setup uh, you will see already this test module is linked so now i am going to run my measurement firstly or i will um, run this test right from the start of this measurement so in my um, test module right click and then go to the configuration and here you have the option called start immediately uh, if you wanted to start immediately this test module soon when the measurement has been started then you have to select this so i'm selecting this for the moment so that when i start the measurement the test code will run and it will complete the execution i just started now it is uh, started to run you see is starting and after five seconds the test is completed ideally our expectation is in the test report we should have the graphic window captured with all these selected signals let me go to the test report and we'll see what is generated already okay it's taking time Okay, so now here it is. If you see uh, the test module uh, we've created and the test action is, uh, there's no specific test action we have mentioned. Uh, we had just mentioned all the signals which needs to be captured. So all the signals have been captured here. Uh, so in this way you could use this um, test report add window capture function in order to capture all your uh, graphic window signals. Uh, so this could be one way uh, and even if there, there are cases where if you if you do not want to monitor uh, specific signals in that case for example we have mentioned all the four signals which is present in the graphics if you wanted to limit your uh, signals then you can also specify only the signals what you wanted to capture in that way uh, whatever signals that you mention it over here as an argument only those signals will be captured remaining signals will not be added in your graphic so that is another part Okay, let me let us just check. So here I'm going to delete one of the signal called vehicle speed clock. I'm deleting that. And I'm saving the function now. Let me run the measurement. Now the measurement has been started. 
okay now the execution has been completed after five seconds let us look into the test module okay let us go to the sample test case you see here we have uh, removed since we have uh, removed the signal in the uh, graphic window the vehicle speed clock it is unchecked and so the graphic window will be uh, captured only for these three signals so in that way you could uh, may utilize this function to capture the specific signal so uh, in your use case you could put n number of signals over here in the uh, graphic window and then you can specify only the signals which you wanted to really print in your test report so in that way you could represent it in a better way so this is the step about uh, how to capture the graphic window so now in the second part we will see about uh, how to capture the trace window the same way how we captured the graphic window the same way we will uh, do the trace window capture through capital coding so it's a slight modification that we need to do it uh, again the function remains the same uh, here instead of the graphics uh, we'll just open one of the trace windows so go to the measurement setup and see to that which particular trace window that you, if you wanted to capture so here my trace window uh, the name itself is trace so i'm going to give the name of the trace window as trace here and we can leave this arguments empty because we're not going to go with the specific uh, uh, case and we remain uh, we still keep all the other arguments like screenshots or sample dot uh, jpeg as the same so that now what this function is does is uh, it will again do this um, execution of the test case and it will wait for five seconds after the measurement has been started and then it will capture the trace window and it will print it in the test report so let us see how it works so now i saved my test module i'm going to start my measurement and in my trace window uh, there is one signal which is present we'll see whether the signal is getting printed in the test report so now i'm going to uh, my test module execution is completed so i'm going to the test module and uh, double click on, on to the test report we'll see okay now if you see in my sample uh, test case i could see like uh, um, the trace window has been printed in my um, test report so again uh, you could use this kind of uh, trace window printing for uh, diagnostic request and response uh, in certain cases if you wanted to um, send a request and then uh, if you wanted to wait for the response if you are not able to um, read the response uh, through capital function then in that case the simplest way is that you send the request and then you could easily capture this um, trace window by setting the filter onto your uh, uh, request and response IDs and you could easily print it in the uh, test report. So this is one way of using the um, uh, trace window capture through capital coding. So with that uh, we had come to the conclusion of this video. So hope you got an insight about how to capture the graphic window and trace window in your test report through capital coding. Uh, if you like this video hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos uh, which are about to come so thank you and see you again in another video